Hi everyone, so it seems like my fox collection video is going to be a two-part video. I am not sure what happened when I pressed pause and then I came back to my phone and it had stopped recording while I was talking. <laughs> That's okay, these guys can have their own little segment I suppose. So these are all the arctic foxes that I have in my collection to show you. Uh, you guys may have seen some of these before from my previous video, I think just the Douglas ones. I'll show you guys quickly them again. As you can see, I've still got my red foxes over there from the last video. I was really trying so hard to get them all into one, but that's okay. This is just how things happen when you're trying to make videos. So here we go, starting off with this National Geographic Arctic Fox, which is, I believe, in my National Geographic Collection video. There's the little one and I will show you the bigger one that goes with it together again. So there's the larger one and the small arctic fox in the National Geographic collection. Pop them in front a little bit easier so we can see. So there are those two for anyone who hasn't seen them before. National Geographic plush are super duper lovely if you can get some. I'm not sure if they are going to be making them ongoing. So if you can get some before they discontinue, jump on board. They're really lovely. And if you want to see more National Geographic plush, just have a look in my videos. I've done a collection that I have. There are a lot more you can get, but you can see my homely little collection that I have. I'll just bring out my Uni Toys Arctic Fox, which looks similar to the National Geographic one. Just swap hands. I suppose the main difference that I can see straight off the bat is uh, they ha the Uni Toys one has a little bit less airbrushing. It's a little bit more faint than the National Geographic one. Um, I don't know, just that one to me it looks a little bit darker. It might be a bit hard to see in the picture. And then again on the paw pads, <clears throat> the National Geographic one has a bit more detailing on the paws. This one looks like it's that's just the thread. I don't think it's supposed to have too much detailing yet. That's just the threads that they've used on the paws there. So the National Geographic one has that paw pad detailing. Just see. Um, to me, the National Geographic one is a little bit softer, um, but otherwise they are quite similar. So if you can't get a hand on the National Geographic one, the Uni Toys one is very similar, as you can see. So there are those two. Oh, sorry, that blue one. Pop them over. So this one I have shown you in a previous video of my Douglas Foxes, but we'll have a little look again. Lots and lots of airbrushing. You can tell straight away that this is going to be a Douglas one for any Douglas fans. So this is Yuki the Arctic Fox. Lovely and floppy this one. Super duper soft as with all the Douglas. He has a very lovely face on him. Another Douglas one here which has the glitter running through it which is so cute. I think I talked to you guys about this one in my other video. I had this one out for Christmas time because it's just so lovely. The Twinkle collection. So this is Siku. Siku, depending on how you want to pronounce it. So there's that one. And next one that we have in from Douglas as well, which has had a lot of love from me, is Snow Queen. I did take off her tag. She's had loads and loads of cuddles, <laughs> but still in lovely condition. That's your Snow Queen. And the last Douglas one, which I have, is Porter, which is a lovely, quite long one. I love the airbrushing detail in Porter. If anyone is interested in collecting some Douglas plush, I have lots to show you. So please, if there's some that you would like to see, I'll see if I've got it to show you guys. My main love with the Douglas, I suppose I have a lot of the dogs. <laughs> um, for anyone who is subscribing, I recently got some little cat handfuls. So I have some cats now, guys, um, and I will show you guys them another day. It's very excited to add some cats to my collection. 
I won't linger on that though, obviously, because today we're talking about foxes. So those are the Douglas ones. Another one that I have, and I will show you guys uh, another day, I have a husky in this as well. They're really cute and quite unique. Very glittery tail. So this Aurora one. Just show you the back. Snowy the fox. So I assume Arctic fox again. Sorry guys, I'm getting a little bit congested. I've been talking for a long time. Um, so there's Snowy by Aurora. Quite unique. I don't. I haven't seen these ones pop up very often. Um, I got this from an online toy store, Mighty Ape. I don't think they still have them anymore, but worth a shot having a look. So there's that one. And this one was also from Mighty Ape. Antics Wildlife Series. Very soft and small. So you can see the tag a little bit closer. Mini Arctic Fox. It's really cute and little. I have a few little ones in this range I'll show you guys another day. Just look at its little face. It's just it's too cute. It fits in your hand. It's really soft and cute. There's that one. And the last two that I have to show you are from the Adventure Planet range. Adventure Planet heirloom collection so this is a sitting one which is really cute and soft and then this one is your standing arctic fox which almost looks a bit wolfish to me almost like a white wolf because it's got that really i don't know there's something about it to me when i saw it advertised online i thought it was a white wolf <laughs> but it is an arctic fox you can see there by the tag so I'll just move back a little bit so you guys can see them a bit more so they're very nice together there's a lot of white fluff happening on my bed right now which reminds me of my dog Shima who is a white husky so there's always white floof everywhere I'm not sure if anybody else has a husky but they shed a lot so lots of brushing lots of vacuuming by myself and hubby but she's gorgeous. She's a bit camera shy, but I might try and show you our dogs one day <laughs> if I can get them to cooperate. Otherwise, I do um, take pictures and little videos of them with my son sometimes on my Instagram if you're interested for anyone who has Instagram. But yeah, so that is my collection of Arctic Foxes. Again, I'm so sorry that for some reason this one is not joined to the other video. But we'll make do and I guess you guys got to see them a little bit closer. So that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed looking at the foxes with me. And um, if anyone's got a collection that they would like to see next. Or if they'd like me to slow down and take a bit of a closer look at some of the foxes that I've shown you. Either in this video or the previous video. Let me know. Again. I've got Instagram, same handle as this one, which is Colour Me Ains, and I've also got my Douglas Cuddle Toys collection on Instagram as well. All my details will be in the description. And yeah, probably will go back to some more Yomiko classics to get that range finished off, but as I said, I would really love to do an Easter video as well. So we'll see how we go. Hopefully I can shake this cold. We'll see how we go. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe. Bye.